Taste Tunes and Taps. I'm Lauren Thomas and Bank of America Fall for Greenville is what's happening in our amazing city this week. The festival, now in its fourth decade, kicked off Thursday with an opening concert. This year's event features more than 50 restaurants and 250 food items. There are seven concert stages with 80 performances, 50 taps, and 24 breweries. We're so excited about the new addition to the festival this year, MAU at BMW Food Truck Row. Park yourself on Macby Avenue to give all nine of them a try. A free and easy way to get to Bank of America Fall for Greenville? Take the trolley. Park at County Square at 301 University Ridge and take the free trolley into downtown during your visit. Or if you're a cyclist, bring your bike. A free bike valet will be offered to riders thanks to Bike Walk Greenville. Park your bike in a safe and secure location on Saturday and Sunday under the Main Street Bridge along the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Showing off success stories in our facade improvement program. Our economic development team presented before and after pictures of recent projects on Wade Hampton Boulevard and Lawrence Road to City Council. At an event in Greenville, Governor Henry McMaster signed an executive order to coordinate the state's electric vehicle infrastructure rollout. The order prioritizes the state's effort to recruit electric vehicle companies through job training and a one-stop shop at the Department of Commerce. The city's community development team updated City Council on the success of the 2020 ordinance allowing hotels to convert to multifamily housing if they offer at least 20 to 25 percent of the units as affordable. The affordable housing update included progress in the Sumler Hall subdivision in Nickeltown. Eight of the nine affordable homes are under contract or have closed. Fire won't wait. Plan your escape. Greenville City firefighters are spending Fire Prevention Week at schools and reminding residents of all ages to choose a meeting spot and practice your emergency route. Firefighters partner with Domino's to deliver pizza and prevention. Randomly chosen homes got their order in a fire truck and had smoke detectors checked or installed. Tree removal is underway at Unity Park Wetlands. Ash trees that are infested with emerald ash borers are being removed. The State Forestry Commission recommends removal and destruction of all trees with beetle infestations. Saturday is the last day to enjoy the Greenville Water Splash Pad at Unity Park this season. But don't worry, it'll reopen in the spring. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.